What is the crack and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a super hot effect. So when you move, time's frozen, and when you do move, it stays normal. So let me show you. This is it working right here. So as you can see, when you move, the world, everything is fine. And then if you don't press a key, the game's frozen. It's the best way to see it is kind of when you're in the air, because you can see that time is actually frozen. And I'll show you this working here on like an explosion effect. So here are everything moving when you're not touching anything. And then when you slowly move, as you can see, the game starts applying the physics to the to the cubes. So let me show you how to do this. This is surprisingly very easy to do. So I'll create a new script. I'm going to call it super hot effect. This is my third one of these scripts. So I'm, I'm Trying to come up with a, a, a new name. Hopefully now this does not crash. Because it's been crashing all day on me. If it does, I'll just do a cut. And it didn't. Okay, we're good. So, all you need is two variables. You don't need the start function. You do need the update function. So, all you do is do a public. Public. Float. You can do that as an int. So, public float. And then do frozen time call that whatever you want this is just this is going to be what the time is equal to when you're not pressing anything and then you go and then do normal time or time unfrozen yeah, let's do time unfrozen couldn't find <laughs> couldn't find one of the keys there so now all you do is go if input no not int input any key equal equal to false then you go time dot time scale we haven't we haven't used time scale yet as far as I'm aware on these tutorial type videos so time dot time scale is equal to frozen time so false is if you're not touching anything that would be the same to if you done any key up and then just kind of got rid of that that would also work but there isn't one of them as far as i'm aware for the up but that was that would be if you wanted to do it for um uh, like if you wanted to press e or anything so i don't know why it's doing this here so let me just do it again okay and now all you do is literally just copy this paste it right below it and then change this from false to true and from frozen to time unfrozen and that is it like it is really easy what's that 16 lines and there's a line here that you can get rid of so 15 and you could probably get rid of these two up here at the top as well but we'll leave them in because I don't 100% understand what they do so let me show you now setting it up setting it up is probably the easier part as well if you uh, didn't know how to do that but now all you do is you click or right click in here go create empty and just drag it onto that and set frozen time to one or sorry time unfrozen to one my bad and the reason I said create a game empty is because you would normally make that your game manager this would kind of handle this type of effect or any like time manipulation or sound effects or things you're not really going to be manipulating on your player so this will affect everything in your world that's why game manager you don't have to call it game manager you can leave it what you want so I'm gonna go in here turn off the script that I already have it on and show you is it working here it doesn't have to be set to one you could also make it where it's faster you could set it where if you're not pressing anything you'll see here now that it worked so you can go in here real quick and your frozen time you could do it as slowed time instead of frozen and make it 0 0.2 so time is going to play uh, a fifth of its normal speed if you're not pressing anything as you can see here not really recommended because it does make it look choppy and people are just going to think your game isn't really working on their computer but as you can see when you're pressing keys it works fine but then when you jump and not press anything 
it goes to the slow motion effect, which is cool. That is it, pretty much. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, rate, subscribe. I'm going to show you one or two things that I'm currently working on that I'm going to be showing you guys how to do soon. So this is for, I'm actually going to turn off that script here so you guys can actually see it without the lagginess in it. So the new thing I'm working on, I just created there earlier today, is a sticky bomb effect. So as you can see there, it kind of blew up for, for a bit. So if I run over here, you'll see that the bomb stuck to it. I have two bombs and then you detonate them and everything goes all over the place. That was for Bren. Another thing I've, I'm working on is rewind time. So time gets rewinded. Only on the objects you tell it to though. So everything will go back to its original position. Another thing I'm working on is a black hole effect. So let me drag this in here and press play. Everything with a rigid body that is nearby should get sucked into it, as you can see. Okay, one thing I forgot to change on my rigid body. Sorry about that. And just click apply. Okay. So this is what it's going to do. It's going to pull them in, and then if it collides with the circle in the middle, it will delete the cubes. So as you can see, the cubes are slowly getting deleted. And you can see the player's getting pulled into it as well. So if the player goes into the middle, the player can die if you make it that way. Um, I'm creating a crackdown system so um, if you run into this you're getting more strength to pick up cubes if you run into this you will slowly see my speed is getting increased I'm running faster so that will be like your agility if I go into the last one my jumping gets increased you'll slowly see that my jumping is getting higher every time I come in contact with this cube to the point where you can literally nearly jump hundreds upon thousands of feet in the air. So these wire are going to be used. Like these buildings here. We're going to just to show you is like how high your jumping is changing. So as you can see I'm jumping nearly the height of the biggest one out at the back. And then if I play the game again this is what your jumping was at the beginning. So you're, you're lucky to be able to jump the cube. Not alone building so i might show you guys how to do that in the future if you want but anyway thank you guys for watching this video if you did enjoy it again please give it a thumbs up there will not be a live stream today as i'm going out drinking celebrating that i passed uh college we got a result in and i passed so i've officially passed game development which is pretty cool but anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video and i hope to see you guys in another video real fucking soon bye bye I can't find my mouse. Oh, it's on the other screen. Okay. Bye.